All right, how are you doing? I hope you're having a decent evening. I hope this assignment's not stressing you out too much. And I hope you like, I hope you like some Minecraft and chill music by Game Chops. We're gonna get right into it. Let's go. Now, today's assignment is a basic assignment that reviews the past four assignments that we've done. So without further hold up, let's get into it. And right off the hop, it says, write the place value of each underlined number. This first one is one, two, three, four, five over there, and it's hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Sorry, my writing there. Hundred thousands. Question number two is going to be thousands. Right, we are. There's our decimal. We have decimal. The four is our tenths, hundreds, thousand. Oh, thousand, thousandths, thousand. It's not picking up my sound because it like blocks it off in my filter. Hundred. It's thousandths. There it is. Picked it up that time. Sorry. Uh, question number three. Write each numeral. Write each as a numeral. So 4,820 and four hundredths. 4,820 and four hundredths. Four hundredths. One hundred four and eight thousandths. One o four point zero zero eight. One hundred four and eight thousandths. Round to each to round each to the place indicated. So this one's rounded to the thousandths. So we're simply going to write it as 29.34. Ooh, 0 0.350. The seven would round up, making the nine into a 10, which would make the next number into a 50. So it'd be rounding up tricky one. Uh, we're going to round this one up as well to 1.00 or could just be one. You just round it up to one. Um, so this next one, find the sum. Oh, we're adding. All right. So I would probably 6.3 0 0.7 plus over. I always want to show my work. I'm going to add those two together to get my answer of drop my decimal down. Yeah, because this is going to be this is going to be 10, and I'm going to carry that one over, put it on top, carry it down. Six plus one, seven. Box my answer. It's always nice you can like check your answer as you're going. So. I look at number seven on my answer list. There it is, number seven. And I can, as I go, check my work. 1.4 plus 1.4. So let's again write this vertically. And we want to line up our decimals 2.8. Not too shabby. Oh, now it's getting a little bit longer. I'm going to 
take this one off to the side. 5.9, uh, 11.2, 2.8, 0.9. I want to make sure I am lining these up appropriately. 9 and 2 is 11, plus 8 is 19, plus 9 more is 28. Carry the 2. 7, 18, 20. 20.8. 20. And again, go down. 8A. Here it is right here. 20.8. Check your answer as you go. Check. 2.7, Line them all up. Add them 10, 11, 13. Carry the one, three, 10. Sorry, three, 10. 1828 put my decimal you can't see my handwriting necessarily let's go to this camera okay subtraction always fun gonna be some borrowing 12 minus 10.1 if you notice I added a zero in this placeholder here old laser tell in this oh interesting yeah in this placeholder here so, so I could line up all of my digits all of my place value. So zero minus one, I'm gonna have to borrow. That'll become one, that'll become 10, nine. One, zero. My answer will be 1.9. You always wanna check your answer on the bottom and then um, check your answer at the bottom. Go back, box your answer, check your answer, to show that you've corrected your work. 11.9 minus 10.8. Oh, this one's nice because there's no borrowing. That's going to be one. That's going to be one. That's going to be zero. Drop down my decimal. My answer is going to be 1.1. 1 .1. All right. Again, just doing these, lining them up vertically. No problem. Okay done these before and I want to just I want to do this in a, the easiest way possible possible okay so this number take away all of these numbers I can do them in order but let's keep it easier. So this is what we're gonna do. This is gonna be our technique today. I'm gonna to take this number and I'm gonna add these three together and then subtract them. So I'm gonna do like this. Um, subtract, this is what it would look like with order of operations. Those three, yeah, yeah. just to keep it simpler. Okay. so. 0 0.6, uh, 1.94, and 1.5. That's a 9. So, 4, 15, 20, 0. Carry the 2, 4.4. 4. So it's going to be 7.6. Minus 4.4. That's going to be 2. That's going to be 3. Drop down. Now, 
if you don't believe me, let's check my answer. 10 a, what was it? My answer 3.2 10. Hey, what? Three point five six ten. What did I do wrong? So if we add those up and then four, nine and six is fifteen. And five is 20. And two. Oh. I see what I did. Okay. This is why we show our work. Beautiful. Great example here. So. Zero. Four. Okay. Okay. So let's look at this whole thing right there. Uh, 60 minus 4. 60 minus 4, 56. I could borrow, make that 10, make that 5, and then 10, 10 minus 4 is going to be 6. And then drop down the five. Okay, 3.56, we got our answer. That's what I checked. Whew, that's why we check our answers. That's why we show our work. That's perfect. I am not a calculator. I'm not gonna edit that out. Let's do the same technique. All uh, right, 0 0.7, 1.5, 1.0. Let's add these. That's going to be 1.2. Put the carry the one. That's 3.2. I'm going to check it this time. 3.2. Now, 10.6 minus 3.2 is going to be 4, 7. Drop down my decimal. 7. Point four ten B. There it is, seven point four. Correct. Uh, again, this is why we show our, put our boxes, put our boxes and our check marks, is when your teachers check in the work, makes it easier for them to find it. Okay, multiplication. Nine. 0.4 times 6. Remember, when you're doing multiplication, you don't need to worry about the decimal until after, when you just count how many numbers fall behind the decimal points within the two numbers that you're multiplying, and then you move that many place values over. So let's go through this. 9.4 times six. So six times four is going to be 24. Put the four, carry the two to add after. Nine times six is going to be 54. 54 plus two more, 56. There's one number for place value. So we're gonna move our decimal point right there. Fifty six point four. Again, if you're questioning, you drop down to question number eleven. Fifty six point four. There it is. Fifty six point four. Okay. Question twelve. Four point five multiplied by seven. Always just so much easier to put the bigger number the one with more digits on top, put the smaller number on the bottom. Bigger number on top, 
smaller number on the bottom. Seven times five is 35. Put the five, carry the three. Seven times four is 28, plus three is 31. How many numbers fall behind a decimal? One, we're gonna move our decimal place over one. So here, 31.5. Let's go to our next two. All right, so this is three digit by two digit multiplication. We're gonna go three, three, six times four, six. Don't worry about the decimals right now. That'll come in after. Three, three, six times six. So we'll go here, here, here. 6 times 6 is 36, which is going to write the 6, carry the 3. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21. Write the 1, carry the 2. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2, 20. 4 times 6, but it's not 4 times 6, it's 40 times 6, because it's in the 10th place value, tens place value, sorry. So we're going to write a zero to make sure we have that placeholder in there. And then we're going to go six times four. We can cross these out on top. Six times four, 24. We're going to write the four, carry the two, six, sorry, four times three, 12, plus two, which is going to be 14, carry the one. Four times three is 12, plus one more is 13. Then we have our addition sentence, six, five, four, five, one. Um, how many decimals? One, two, three decimals. So from here, one, three. So we move it at one place, two place, three places over. Let's get rid of all those. And we'll write our answer, 15.456. We're going to box it, and we're going to check it, 12A. There it is, 15.456. We got it. Hooray. Next one. Okay. We are on question 12B. 3.6 times 10.1. 10.1, 3.6, multiply, let's do them in order, it's going to be 6, 0, 6, then 30, it's going to be 3, 0, 3, that's some easy multiplication, those numbers are easy to work with, then we can add them together, 6, 3, 6, 3, two decimal places over because we have one two numbers behind decimals so we've moved one two numbers over and we can box our answer and we can always check it 12b 36 36 36 30 all right Question 13, division, showing our work. I'm gonna write this in a proper phrase here. So we're gonna to go to write our divisor, write our dividend, now with division it's again important that we are doing our placeholders and lining up our decimals again two uh, two will not go into one so we're going to write a zero on top two will go into 16. I'll go in there eight times. Eight times two is going to be 
16 exactly. And when we do that math, we'll have zero remainders. So our answer is going to be 0 0.8. 95 divided by 0.95 divided by 0 0.2. This is going to be a bit different. So before I write the numbers down here, I want to remind you that we don't want to have a decimal dividend, decimal divisor. We can have a decimal dividend, but we don't want to have a decimal divisor. It just makes it more difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply each number by 10 to move our decimal place over one place value. And by doing a multiplication of 10 to both numbers, it won't change the quotient. It won't change the answer to our problem. It'll just make it easier for us. So we're going to multiply each by 10, if you see what I'm doing there, which makes it 2 is our divisor and 9.5 is our dividend. So let's look at here. That's moved our decimal to there and moved our decimal to there. So it's moved our decimal one place value over. Does two go into nine? Yes, it does. It goes in there four times. Yeah, four times. And it goes in two times four is going to be eight. We can do that math, leaving a value of one remainder. We want to write down our place value or decimal on top to hold its spot. We're going to drop down our five. Does two go into 15? It sure does. Seven times to make 14. That will leave us with a remainder of one again. And we don't have a number to drop down. Oh no, but that's okay. Because what we're gonna drop down is going to be a placeholder. If you remember, you can have a placeholder. It looks like this. And we're just gonna drop that zero down. Uh, so that zero will come down here. Does two go into 10? Yes five times for make exactly 10 and that's going to leave us with a remainder of zero and then we have 4.75 as our answer so two goes into 9.5 4.75 times or you can make two groups of 4.75 exactly two groups of 4.75 from nine 50 or 9.5. Last two questions here. 14A, 5, 3.8. Does 5 go into 3? It does not. Let's line our decimal place up. Let's write our 0 because 5 doesn't go into 3. No. We will talk about 5 going to 38. It does go into 38, not exactly. It goes in 7 times to make 35, which leaves us a remainder of 3. We're going to drop our 0. Now we have 30, so it'll go in 6 times to make exactly 30, leaving us a remainder of 0. 3.8 divided by 5 is going to be 0.76. Five groups of 0.76 make 380, $3.80, or 3.8. All right, last, last question. Another 3.8, but this time with 4. Okay. 
Let's see if we can do this. The divisor is four, and the dividend is 3.8. Does four go into three? It does not drop our, uh, draw our zero and our decimal place because we want to line them up. And then does four go into 38? It goes into 36. How many times? Four goes into 36, nine times. And it goes 36. I, I, you'll probably notice I'm sometimes I'm writing my my like decimal place here and sometimes I'm skipping it. I, as long as you have it here directly above right there, like lined up here. That's what's important. If it's not below there, it's not the end of the world. Um, let's do our math. Zero, two, zero. Drop that down. Make 20. Four goes into 20. Five times to make exactly 20. Okay, remember... When you are ending, 0 0.95, 0 0.76, 50, check your answers, box your answers, give your answers check marks. So when your teacher is correcting all of this, it's easy for them. I've included a checklist right here. Complete it, showed your work, you boxed your answers to you easy to find them. You've checked your answers that means you've corrected or checked them on the answer sheet and if they're wrong you've corrected them and if you have all of those checked you are ready to submit this to your teacher thank you for hanging out with me again remember keep mathing it up On a side note, if you're still here, find us on Instagram. This is my gaming channel. This is not my other stuff. Come and join our Discord. Our Discord is called Let's Game Den. It's The Den. And it is a place for student gamers to come together and hang out and of course, Subscribe to my other YouTube channel, which is our other YouTube channel, and it's uh, GB Gaming. All right. I'm going to say bye and stuff now. I'm tired. Bye. Bye.